Five, four, three, two, one. I had just become incredibly emotionally numb and, and I had absolutely no control over it. All of a sudden it felt like somebody hit me in the stomach with a sledgehammer. I don't sleep at night, I'm in pain all the time. I had a concussion. Got in simultaneously because I was a kick returner as well. And I hurt my shoulder and took a shot in the shoulder and the head. So it was both the shoulder and most of the concussion. And I did not play. Matter of fact, I didn't even know my name hardly. And a buddy came in a couple hours later and that's when he found me and rushed me to the hospital because he couldn't, I had no heartbeat. He couldn't find a heartbeat or anything like that. When I was first picked up at the airport and brought to the hospital, and I first saw my dad. I was very frightened that he didn't really know my name because I didn't know if his brain was okay. I would be charging some pretty big waves all the time. And brain scans that I've done, they show that I've had hundreds if not thousands of concussions. I really just had these feelings bottling up, the feelings of depression, the feelings of suicide, just became so great that I didn't feel safe. There's such an issue in this country when it comes to mental health. And that's why we're seeing so many of the vets coming back and committing suicide. So the challenge was to figure out how to make life worth living again. The winner of Survivor! You know, for the rest of my life, I'll forever have this master's degree under my belt. This literature has been out there for years. No one's taken advantage of it. The trainer comes out, they put up how many, and you say four, and they go, well, that's close enough. We're talking about a brain here, right? We're talking about a brain, and every single piece of real estate is extremely important.